In America, beauty and body image has been seen as a controversial topic. Self-deprecation has been a prominent issue regarding the pressures of not meeting societal standards of beauty and body image. According to Bloomberg and colleagues, authors of You Are Beautiful No Matter What They Say, body image is the perception that a person has of their physical self and the thoughts and feelings that result from that perception. But what factors influence one's perception of themselves to compare them to a specific standard? Hughes and Miller, authors of What Sounds Beautiful Looks Beautiful Stereotype, have studied that physically attractive individuals have been associated with many positive features, such as intellectual competence, greater popularity, social competence, and a variety of other positive personality traits. But what deems someone to have these attractive qualities in American society? What makes this perception and standard of body image seen as beautiful? Hello, my name is Gula Solomon. I'm a student at UW Bothell, and I am in my senior year. Yeah, my name is uh, Montreal Jackson. I am, uh, I don't know, I'm an older gentleman between the ages of 35 and 45. Uh, I've lived in Seattle my whole life. All right, my name is Gurkwan Parhar. I'm currently a junior at University of Washington. I'm 21 years old. I've lived in Seattle my whole life. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm 21 years old. I'm a UW student and I've lived in Seattle my whole life. My name is Tani. I'm 22 years old. I was born and raised in Seattle. Um, I have family in Hawaii, so I travel back and forth between there. Um, yeah. What is the societal definition of body image and standard of beauty in American culture? What I feel societal belief is is uh, the white standard. It's always the white standard. Uh, there, I mean, and then depending on where you are culturally, you might be able to gauge that differently, uh, whether it be through ra through a racial lens or um, uh, uh, or um, ethnic lens. So, um, with a with societal beliefs of beauty, I see it as the the Hollywood models, the Hollywood uh, actors that make up all the 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 things, all the the uh, um, I don't know. You're you're six. You, if you're a guy, you're six foot something and uh, ripped. If you're a woman, you're uh, five foot eight and white, blonde, uh, um, with sharp features. Uh, I think those typically stand for what Hollywood is setting the standard for. What we believe uh, we should all look like. Um, so I think there's two like main uh, definitions. Um, that are valued in American culture. Um, the first one being like Eurocentric uh, body image, uh, beauty standards, you know, your basic blonde hair, blue eyes kind of idea. And then I also think that there is like a, another one that's more like exotic beauty that people value more for the uh, novelty factor, um, which I think is represented in things like cultural appropriation, and things like that. The modern ideal body image for women is to have a slim and slender figure. However, this ideal standard is almost impossible to achieve. According to the global estimate by the World Health Organization, about 40% of adults are overweight and about 13 of that population are obese. Additionally, the worldwide prevalence of obesity nearly tripled between 1975 and 2016. Bloomberg et al. states, only about 5% of women are naturally the same size as models, and for the past several decades, the average model's body size has been lower than the average person's body size. The fashion, media, and advertising industries perpetuate this thin culture by using rake-thin models on runways and to advertise their brands. Do you think you fit into these standards? Um, I mean, racially, yes, but based on like certain characteristics, I don't have blonde hair and blue eyes. So I would say that I would easily be able to blend in with standards, but certain ones I can't meet and I never will meet. Uh, no, mm -mm. Not, not, not one bit. I feel like I am myself and- yeah. Cause I'm black, my skin color, I don't feel like I fit in. Um, I would say I feel like I probably fall more into that second category that I listed. Um, more because I've also had the experience of someone being like, oh, like, you're so exotic. I find that to be an insult. Like, I don't understand why that would be a descriptor that could use me other than the fact that I am 
outside of the norm of the Eurocentric beauty standards. Um, so I would say no, I don't feel like I really fit into the overarching ideals, but I would fall into one of like the smaller subcategories, I guess. The unrealistic perception that the media portrays can have a significant negative impact on one's self-image. People often compare their appearance to the images of models and celebrities who they see. Many feel inadequate when they think they are not as thin as the models and celebrities. At what age did you first notice the pressures of body image and beauty? Back in um, elementary school is when I noticed that I didn't really fit in. My mom used to have her hair braided because um, in the Ethiopian culture, your hair will be braided a lot when you're a little kid and, and through high school. And so my hair would be braided and in uh, elementary school, I see people who have their hair out and everything. And I realized, oh, I don't fit in. They're wearing certain clothes. My mom used to dress me in ash, bash, bagash, whatever it's called. And so I noticed I didn't like fit into the standards. I would say I first noticed pressures in middle school. I think that that was the biggest um, time of change for me. And I really started to notice makeup and fashion and doing different hairstyles. And I started to feel pressured to conform to how my friends were changing their sense of beauty, as well as wanting to fit in and look like the girls on the magazines and on TV. Setting high expectations for both young men and women can create insecurities about their physical appearance. Hanan and colleagues, authors of Body Image Discrepancy and Surgical Concerns, state that the exposure to media images of thin and beautiful women creates the discrepant body image in young women leading to surgical concerns. When has there been a time where you thought there was representation of someone of your ethnicity or race regarding body image or beauty in American media? Um, well, in American media, it's predominantly dominated by white people. So movies, TV shows, magazines, ads. I feel like I can easily um, like flip through channels on the TV or go on the internet and I'll see someone who has a lot of the same characteristics and features as me. So I feel like I can easily see myself reflected in media. You know, being an Indian and living here my whole life, um, me and my family believe in the religion of Sikhism. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a time where we've been represented in the mass media, um, particularly in like TV commercials or um, newspapers or radios. Um, and only time I do remember an instance when this happened was back when um, there was a shooting at my temple back in, I think, Wisconsin a few years back. Um, that was the first time I saw my religion um, on mass media. It was kind of sad to see that as the first time um, because some Sikhs died that day um, just to, due to a gunman, and the gunman was white. Um, and only other times I really see it is maybe through like on a different stream like YouTube. And that's often because of the way um, we dress and with the way we practice our religion, um, which is sad to see because most of the time it's in a negative spotlight. Um, and I feel like when you're looking through stuff like magazines and stuff, it's always white people, black people, sometimes even Asian people, but you never really see Indians or you never see guys with turbans, um, mainly because I feel like we don't really, we're not really in that picture of American society, um, even though this is a land for everyone. Um, and it's just sad to see sometimes. You see it through like Beyonce and um, Alicia Keys. They're fighting against the stigma against um, African American women. You know, trying to rise to the top to show them that they that that they can be successful as well. And Alicia Keys is a lot of her songs are really like natural. You know, what I'm trying to say she really talks about like her own issues and how like they relate to her and how that that makes her more powerful and like successful. So those kind of things like those women really do songs and they sing about like what's what it means to be an african-american girl in today's society how do you personally define body image and beauty um i would personally define it as um what makes you feel most comfortable with yourself and how you express yourself um I, as, I guess it sounds kind of cliche, but it's more like, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If you find it beautiful and that's how you want to express yourself, that is what, um, that is how you should express it. 
Um, the way I define beauty and body image, at least in my religion, Sikhism, is because like one of the five Ks, Kesh, is not cutting our hair. Um, and often people don't understand why, do we, we, why we don't cut our hair. Um, and part of the reason is that because God creates us a certain way um, and that we shouldn't alter the way we look. Um, and so that's why people have beards or long hair. Um, I've never cut my hair in my whole life and I'm 21 years old. Um, I keep my hair wrapped up in this turban. My dad has a long beard. He wears the bigger turbans. Um, and the main reason why is because um, we shouldn't change the, our appearance. And because of that, that to me is beauty because that's our natural beauty. That's, you know, how you look and we don't try to change the way we look. To me, beauty is confidence, which a lot of times I feel like is mistaken for being vain, but being confident in who you are and not feeling like you need to conform to what other people are doing or societal standards is important. I also think positivity is beauty, um, expressing yourself how you want to express yourself and feeling comfortable in your own skin, not needing to feel like you need to change. Beauty is, sub it is completely subjective. Uh, it, it, I, I see beauty everywhere I go. I see beauty as, um, uh, as love, I suppose. Um, um, to, to, see, to see one's self as themselves. Like, again, that can't nobody do me like I do me. So I'm always gonna see myself as somebody who's unique in my own, in my own beauty. So, and I, and I tend to value those that are, as long as you're not harming anybody with what you're doing, as long as what you're doing is in good faith and you're behaving on the side of what is good treatment of people, then I feel like, you know, yeah, yeah, everybody has beauty, you know, everybody can, can be that person. Um, it does require a smile occasionally, <laughs> um, but I do, I do feel like everyone is capable of, of beauty or and, and definitely should have positive body image no matter what they look like you know like again can't nobody do you like you <laughs> what characteristics do you love about yourself i like my smile um it's something that i've worked on as a performer um I'm, i don't feel like i'm particularly photogenic but it is something that i do love about my appearance Oh man, again, I'm back to that unique. I, I, I am uniquely me, man. And can't nobody do me, man. So um, I, I feel like I feel like we all can exude ourselves if we want to go that way. You know, like some of us are reserved. Some of us, it, 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 we can turn it on like a light switch. Some of us just keep it on all the time. You know, and we know that about ourselves, and we know that we can, we can get in, we can mix it up when we're supposed to, but. Uh, as far as myself, yeah, man. I, again, like I, I, I've always seen myself in a positive light. Again, I can't, I can't change this, you know. And but nor would I want to, you know. I would want people to be able to accept me the way that I am, you know. I mean, now there's things that are going on up here that I want to improve upon and be better for people that are around me. But as far as the exterior, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Love it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what society thinks. What matters is you. You are your hardest critic. You are unique. So what do you love about yourself? My name is Tawny, and I love the community that I'm a part of, my family, my friends, and the people that I surround myself with. My name's Mia, and I love my personality. Uh, my name is Montreal Jackson, and I love myself. My name is Gurkhan Parhar, and I love my religion of Sikhism.